Hi everybody, I am so pleased to be here with you today. My name is Shannon and Ms. G, and I help individuals and organizations strengthen their creativity through process-based art making. Creativity is a powerful muscle. It's what's responsible for the world around us, and everybody already has it. So I hope that you can join me today to strengthen and stretch your creativity through joyful and playful art making because everyone is creative and anyone can create art. Let's get started. Today we're going to need paper. It could be recycled paper that you no longer need envelopes that you've received in the mail or that you might have in your home. It could be magazines or newspapers, or it could be recycled paper. I think I already said that. It could also be computer printer paper. And you don't need a big piece of paper. You could take a big piece of paper and make it smaller. You also need one dark marker or a dark pen and any other writing materials that you might have in your home like pencils, pens, markers, highlighters, color pencils, crayons, and you will need a window. And when we combine all of these things, we'll be creating a mixed media piece. Mixed media means using, combining different materials to create a piece of art. While you're gathering your materials, I will play you a song that I recently wrote about the kind of art that we'll be making today. So go ahead and grab your materials. Nature is art, and art is nature. Nature is art, and art is nature. We've got color in nature, it's true. There's red, yellow, and blue. And red, yellow, and blue make orange, green, and purple. We've got texture in nature, it's true. to explore how can we use line, color, and symmetry to express ourselves, to show ourselves. Say the word symmetry with me, even if you've said it a thousand times. Symmetry. Symmetry. Sometimes when we say a word multiple times, we can feel it in our body in different ways. It feels kind of funny in my mouth when I say the word symmetry. How about you? Symmetry. Symmetry. When we ingest, when we include and take in certain words and feel them in our bodies, sometimes we can get inspiration or ideas for what we're creating. But what is symmetry? Symmetry is a form of balance. 
what we do on one side happens on the other side too. If we want to get fancy about our words, we could call this reflectional symmetry or bilateral symmetry. The prefix bi means two, so there are two sides. Reflectional means to reflect like a mirror, to show back what is being seen. So let's explore. How can we use line, color, and symmetry to express ourselves? And how can we use nature to inspire our own artistic expression? We see symmetry in nature all the time. Here is an example of reflectional symmetry or bilateral symmetry. What we see on one side, we see on the other side. Have you noticed that butterflies have reflectional or bilateral symmetry? If I divided the butterfly in half, I would see something very similar on both sides. We can see symmetry in nature. We can see symmetry in our favorite pets. And we can even see symmetry in ourselves. So, Let's warm up our bodies and let's find the symmetry in ourselves. Stand up and get ready to move. Artists need to warm up their bodies before they make art. I took my shoes off to feel the ground underneath me. Let's explore symmetry in our bodies. Eyebrows. Eyes. Nostrils, mouth, fingers, wrists, elbows, arms, and the curtain's going. Art is nature and nature is art. And artists draw inspiration from nature when they are creating their own art. So let's draw some inspiration, not only from ourselves and the world around us, but also from other artists. Here's David Gordon's symmetrical piece drawn from inspiration from nature. This is Esther Machlangu's piece. She makes art using nature. She paints with feathers and she uses her environment of South Africa where she lives to inform and inspire her art making. We can notice that her work has lots of symmetry. How can we draw inspiration from Esther Machlangu the world around us and ourselves to create our own art. We know there is no such thing as good art or bad art or the right way to do art or the wrong way to make art. So when we are in our art making process, we will remember that art is ish and we communicate with kindness to ourselves and our art. 
Today, we are going to use our imagination and the inspiration from the world around us. We are going to create a balanced being. You need your piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half landscape style. Then you are going to write a word. It could be any word. It could be your name. It could be in cursive or print. It could be a word that you care about. It could be a word that you would like to work on or a word that you find inspiration from. Any word that you would like to explore. When you are writing your word, you want to make sure that your word, that your lines touch the bottom of the fold. Remember, this is ish. It's not going to be perfect. If your lines don't touch the fold, you can go over your lines and make sure that they touch the fold. That they touch the fold. Now you need a window. Take your piece of paper to the window, put your words up against the window so that the light shines through it. Hey, look at that. We're using nature to make our art. Now, trace the lines using the window. The lines will be opposite, backwards. Just think about the lines. Don't worry about the word. Go slowly, but also remember, this is ish. When you're done tracing the words, take it off the window and see what happened. We're back from the window. We've seen the lines that our word has created in symmetrical form. And now our next step is to add designs, patterns, line, and color to build a being, something from our imagination, something that is symmetrical. This is Pepper's name that she then opened up, turned around, and decided, oh yes. This is how I'm going to create my balanced being. Your balanced being can be abstract, imaginary, or realistic-ish. Remember, this is ish, and our job is to communicate with kindness. So, let's get started. I'm gonna work on a couple different pieces today. You can do one or two or three, however many you want. Decide which word you're going to start with and turn the page so that you can decide what's the top, what's the bottom, what's the side. Let's begin. Symmetry. There's no right or wrong. Explore, see what happens, be kind. See what comes out of this piece. Play with lines. Play with mixed media, different materials. See what happens when you combine different ideas. 
let your balanced being be who it wants to be. Let it come out. If you feel stuck, take a pause, move your body to the music. Take a breath. <laughs> See what comes. See what develops. Mix your media. Try different materials, see what happens. This is ish. You don't have to like all of the art that you create. Sometimes when I don't like my art, it works out better because I'm not attached to it. You can add on. You can change. Ooh, I feel like this might want to be an I too. This is an imaginary being, an abstract being, a realistic ish being. Let it be. You can change your piece as it moves and grows. You can decide how it lives. Keep going. If you feel stuck, move to another place in the piece. Turn the piece around. Maybe you'll see something new that you'll think, oh, I didn't think about that before. This is Ish. It is a being in our mind from our imagination. It can be anything we want it to be.
Thin lines. If you're feeling stuck, switch to a new word, turn the paper around, see what you can do to communicate with kindness and explore art. You decide how you want to explore your art making today. As long as you are being kind to yourself, and trying, you are making art. Play with mixed media, different materials. See how your being develops. It's a process. Explore symmetry. Move your body. There's no right or wrong in art. Turn the page. Look at your art from a different direction. Maybe you'll get some new ideas. If you feel stuck, change your material. Look at something from a different direction. Remember that this is ish. with your body? Is it grounded? If you find yourself in your head, feel your feet.
an imaginary being, an abstract being, maybe a realistic-ish being. body. Try different materials. Turn the page. Try a different area. Did I say have fun yet? Have fun. work. You can continue on. You could add a scene, a setting, a place to your work. Where does your being want to live? Underwater, in space, in the earth.
this is our last song for today. We know art is never finished. Could you continue making after this? Absolutely. Could you share this idea with others? Yes. Who's your being? Does it have a name? What does it eat? Where does it live? Does it have a message to share? We know that art is never finished. It's alive, it's breathing, it changes with the world around it. Even if you're not finished today, you can still revisit your work in the upcoming days, weeks, months. But let's look at our art, where we are right now today. How did we use line, color, and symmetry to express ourselves? What kind of lines did we use? Maybe we used curvy lines, spiral lines, dotted lines, broken lines. Look at your work and notice the types of lines that you used. How about color? How did the colors that you used show up in your piece? Maybe you used bright colors or soft colors. Maybe you used certain combinations together. What color combinations do you like? Do the colors connect to nature? Do the colors connect symmetrically? Do the colors connect to your being's personality? How have you used color to express yourself? And, Let's notice symmetry. How did you use symmetry to build your being? Did the symmetry help create personality to your being? Did the symmetry help show the nature of your being? Your art is alive. Your being now exists. So we must decide, you must decide, how is it going to live in the world? Maybe you'll hang it in your home. Maybe you'll mail this being to someone. Maybe you've made their name. Maybe you want to share their name being with them. Maybe you will post it online. Maybe you're going to display it in a public place like out a window of your home or on a telephone pole. Or maybe you'll turn it into something new. Could this become a puppet? One of the parts that I love about art is that we can take the skills that we have practiced and learned during art making and transfer it into our other life, our personal life, our professional life, our family life, our friend life, our inner life. Today, you turned a word into something new. So you can use your ideas to invent something. Maybe it's a new product or a new way of doing something. This is what we call iterating. Taking something and turning it into something different. Maybe you looked at your balance being from different angles, from upside down, from the side. How can you use that skill in your outside life? Maybe this skill can help you look at different viewpoints, different perspectives. Maybe you'll consider turning an idea around or a decision around the next time the opportunity comes up. What about writing words in different ways? Maybe you use cursive, maybe you printed, maybe you use big letters or small letters. This act is experimenting with new ideas. 
maybe now in your outside life you can try experimenting with different ways of communicating ideas or feelings. These are my ideas, what are yours? How can you take the muscles that you strengthen and stretch today through art making and transfer it into your everyday life? We felt our bodies, we warmed up our bodies at the beginning of our art making today. Let's feel our bodies now. Let's notice how our bodies feel and how our mind feels. Or feel your feet on the floor and inhale, breathe in. Exhale all the air out. Inhale in, you can do it with your eyes closed or open. Exhale out. Blow all the air out. Last one in. Exhale out. After art making today, how do your body and mind feel? Thank you for making art with me today. I had a really great time and I hope that you did too. I hope that you feel like your creativity was stretched and strengthened during this time and that you can take your skills and use them somewhere else in the world. I will have another art making lesson available next week. In the meantime, you are very welcome to send me your work. I'd love to see what you did. I'm going to close out today with the theme song. I hope that you continue to make art and see art in nature and nature in art all around you. If you want some stress relief, make some art. If you want to be productive, make some art. If you want to innovate, imagine and create. If you want to see yourself and free yourself and be yourself, make some art. <laughs> Bye. See you soon.